Hey, welcome. Another episode. Who the hell asked? Me and Slade. Kingdom Hearts. Open the door. Open. The yeah, door. that was uh, pretty crazy. I definitely did not expect to wake up to that today. So, uh... Yeah, so... Square had a 20th anniversary Kingdom Hearts event, and it announced a few things. We got a Kingdom Hearts Union Dark Road of the last chapter, the finale of the mobile game coming out in August, which, uh, canon, another mobile game that's canon, Kingdom Hearts Missing Link, which actually looks good for a mobile game. <laughs> Yeah, that's actually kind of surprising. It kind of reminds me of Cage 3 a little bit. Yeah. But, uh, and, uh I don't know. I'd you, have to see the combat. To yeah, you know that idea. shit's going to be canon. And it's uh, having a closed beta test in uh, 2022. But the big reason, ladies and gentlemen, KH4 is real. Yeah, so we kind of knew it was only a matter of time for them to uh, announce this game. And uh, it kind of looks like they're going with the hyper-realistic approach. Which uh, doesn't surprise me, considering that this game's going to be built on the new Unreal Engine 5, which we'll uh, talk about pretty shortly. Yeah, but, uh... I... <laughs> yeah, I'm not so, I'm not uh, sure realistic, I... non-spiky hair Sora. I'm not sure how I feel about that. It looks like, oh, hey, this kid should be in Final Fantasy 16. <laughs> Well, they remember that Nomura wanted was the uh, lead director of Final Fantasy XV, and they took him away from the project. Yeah, because he, you know, they were taking too long. It was originally called Versus Thirteen. Yeah, so he's just making Versus Thirteen Cage Four. Yeah, so it's this amazing. will be, uh, and you can help me with this. So apparently, this is supposed to be the beginning of the new Lost Master arc storyline in the ever confusing kingdom hearts lore so uh yeah and this is the first of the second trilogy so i'm reading this yep but uh no this is gonna be uh pretty interesting because i was like okay now that they've got a you know the big part of their plot out of the way with the uh, xehanort and whatnot where are they gonna go from here um who knows they kind of hit us already with a little bit of uh, lore plot twist in the trailer itself. For people who played Union Cross, Strelitzia was in the uh, trailer. And she was supposed to be uh, either dead slash disappeared. So yep. We'll and see how that goes. We'll yeah. definitely see how that goes. Yeah, and uh, the city we were introduced to was called, called the Quadratum, a large, expansive city set in a gorgeous, realistic world unlike anything ever before seen, which is why we are getting Final Fantasy Sora. <laughs> yeah, what is its fucking GTA, but Kingdom Hearts? Oh my god. It's just one big open city, oh and that's the whole game. When are we gonna get the realistic dog and duck? <laughs> With the fucking Sora? Oh my god. <laughs> uh, but yeah, KH4. It, it's real. It's here. Um... It's not coming out for a while. I guarantee fucking to you that. Yeah. Especially considering that this will be built upon, uh, well, transition from Unreal Engine 4 to the aforementioned new Unreal Engine 5. But, uh, what console do you think we see this on? Considering the Kingdom Hearts games we've talked about before now are on PC. They're on Xbox, they're on PlayStation. They're coming soon to Switch, I think, or if not, they're already on the Switch in cloud form. The cloud form, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, this will definitely be on the PS5 and the Xbox Series X and One S. Um, that being said, I don't think we see it on, you know, Switch, obviously. Yeah. We probably also do not see it on PC immediately. Seems okay. they like to take some of their time with that. My my gut feeling is PlayStation 5 exclusivity for a year. <laughs> and then put on Xbox and Epic Game Store <laughs> for a year, and then it'll come to Steam after that. Honestly, I could say that. Yeah. Get, but, uh, yeah, because yeah, like, Sony wants a big uh, 
exclusive before FF16, which will drop in like 2026. Yeah, I was saying, we're not going to see KH4 until like 2030, guys. This is just the <laughs> announcement trailer. <laughs> Hey, look, we're getting. Uh, Square King- Enix announced this shit way too early. I don't think this is gonna be any different. I would be stunned if we saw this within the next few years. Uh, but yeah, um, what a thing to wake up to, huh? Slay? <laughs> oh yeah. All this. All right. So next tidbit of news we're gonna go over is Unreal Engine Five. This was announced on uh, April fifth. And uh, now it is available for download for developers to start uh, working with it. Yeah, so so, uh, we've seen it a little bit with uh, Fortnite and The Matrix Awakens, that Unreal Engine 5 experience, which I think was at the Game Awards? I think? Yeah, I think you're correct. I think that was at the Game Awards. Yeah. but uh, And uh, now we've seen a little bit more of it with KH4. Yes. Yeah, it lo- looks good. It'll oh be, yeah, for sure. It'll be cool to have like the next generation, new open world tool sets, all new animations and stuff. So, I think it will be like a, a, maybe a year or two before we really start seeing games on Unreal Engine Five. Yeah. But man, they're gonna look good. <laughs> oh, gonna for look sure. Good. <laughs> man, this stuff does look uh, pretty incredible. I'm not gonna lie. Alrighty, I guess we're going to move on to the next bit of news. So after Unreal Engine 5, uh, we got an announcement for uh, the remakes of Max Payne 1 and 2. Looks yes. like it's a uh, joint effort between Remedy Entertainment and uh, Rockstar Games. Yeah, so that kind of came out of nowhere. Oh yeah. Yeah, Max Payne is a franchise. I, I don't have too much familiar that ah, familiarity with i don't know about you slade i about to say i've heard quite a bit about them but i've never personally played them myself so i guess uh this would be a really good opportunity for me to get into it yeah so uh it's going to be coming to the ps the pc ps5 and the xbox series consoles uh the game budget will be financed by rockstar the size of which will be in line with the typical Remedy AAA game. Uh, Under the agreement, Remedy has a royalty opportunity after Rockstar Games has recouped its development, marketing, and other costs for distributing and publishing the game. The project is currently in the concept development stage. So obviously they're not very far into it, but... I guess they just wanted to announce, you know, it pretty early, let people know, hey, this is the thing and it's real. Get people excited. Yeah. Maybe that's just me. I'm surprised Rockstar hopped on board for this. <laughs> um, yeah, that is kind of surprising. But I don't know, at the same time, they get the opportunity. It seems like Rockstar is kind of entering kind of a pseudo publisher slash, you know, they kind of like help fund the game. Yeah. You know, anything they could turn a profit on. So. Yeah, Makes well, sense to me in that sense. Yeah, well, I just figured they were too busy uh, trying to grind the bloodstones with GTA <laughs> GTA Plus and uh, working heavily on GTA 6. Oh, yeah, because I think people want a new GTA. It's been, you know, quite a while. Did they ever make an announcement trailer for GTA 6, or did they just say, we, okay, we're uh, starting? We, they put out a press release, which we talked about, I think, like two weeks ago on the show. I already forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I know they announced that they started it. I just couldn't yeah. remember whether or not they put a trailer up or not. Oh, no. It was, I think, like a blog post or something. Okay, so it's just a blog post. Got it. But yeah, uh, like, like with a lot of things today, this is going to be a while before we see it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, well, let's I- talk about something that's not going to be a while. Uh, a brand new game from the Rivals team called Dungeons of Aether has uh, been announced. That's and that right. will be coming out in October this year. Yeah, so uh, Rivals of Aether, uh, I think it was the day of that we recorded the last episode of Who the Hell Asked, where we talked about E3 being canceled, Breath of the Wild, and the new Sony PS Plus news. 
Uh, Rivals of Aether, uh, the company behind them, usually has an April Fool's Day Direct, where yeah. they have a few April Fool's announcements, and then they have some legitimate announcements, and this was one of them. Dungeons of Aether is a, a rogue-like, turn-based RPG. Which, yeah, so when I saw that, I was like, that sounds like a really uh, fascinating concept that I'm definitely probably going to play. Yeah, and uh, on screen you can see a, a gif of uh, what's a little bit of the gameplay. Yeah, it's turn-based, which, okay, that's a bit... I don't think I've seen roguelike and turn-based combined very often. So yeah, this will be a first for me, too. Yeah, so that will be uh, a bit interesting. But yeah, there's a story mode, there's a challenge dungeon, so it's it seems like there's quite a bit of a uh, of content and it's coming out uh October. October, I believe, twenty fifth. Yeah, October twenty fifth to Steam. Not n- no other platforms at the moment, but Steam. And that was not the only announcement that they had for us. They also announced a brand new Rivals of Ether game, Rivals 2. Yes. Rivals and, uh, 2. That's ginormous news. That that is big. Rivals of Ether was a very popular melee like? I think it was like melee like. Yeah, it's a melee like smash game where they incorporate, you know, the mechanics for melee in terms of wave dashing and all that good jazz. Um Exciting stuff, because this one seems to be taking on a 3D approach to it, instead of being a sprite-based game like the original yeah, you know, Rivals is. that was interesting to see. Some yeah, of the characters of... looked good, some of them oh, yeah. looked a bit weird in a in real, somewhat realistic, cartoony 3D. But, yeah, uh, but so there's only three characters shown right now. That was Zeta Burn, Rano, and uh, I always forget the bird's name. Yeah, hey, three characters. I'm a terrible rivals yeah. fan. <laughs> but three characters uh, are shown off. Some stage, uh, like a stage, I think, or two was shown off. But uh, we're not getting yeah, this just game. Couple stages. Yeah, we're not getting this game though till minimum 2024. Oh, yeah. yeah we and, gotta... uh, there's a lot of curious stuff here because obviously they're probably going to bring back a lot of the original characters. But the third party characters being Ori and Shovel Knight, you wonder if we see, if we see those still. And I... then not only that, but a lot of uh, what makes Rivals popular nowadays is the workshop and the custom characters on PC. You wonder if they're not going to have that anymore since, you know, the game is no longer sprite-based. Yeah, I don't think, first off, on the third-party characters, I don't think they come back. Maybe Shovel Knight, because Shovel Knight's in fucking everything still. That meme yeah. still lives on forever and ever in our hearts. Or it would be a little bit of a challenge. Yeah. Considering the rights is owned by uh, Microsoft overall. So Yeah. Interesting stuff there, definitely and for sure. But uh... As for the workshop... I think considering that it's now 3D, I don't think there will be, if Workshop even comes back, which there's a chance it it doesn't come back, I think even if it does come back, it's not going to be as big as the first Rivals of Aether, considering it's going from sprite base to now cartoony 3D. Yeah, I if they got a Workshop like to actually work with this game... If people put out some, like, really good, like, 3D models and stuff, I would be impressed. Yeah. And, uh, the team did answer some questions. And, uh, so far they don't have any platforms. Uh, they don't know yet if it's going to be free-to-play or paid, which is interesting, because I brought that up back with Street Fighter Six being announced and that possibility. <laughs> So that's funny to see that on there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it, they are not prioritizing mod support during current development. It's hard enough to make a game in the first place. We love seeing the creativity from a community, but any mod support come far after launch. So confirmed, not at launch. Not at, at the launch. very least. 
Yeah, which makes not, sense because uh, the workshop wasn't in, included until after launch as well. So, yeah. alrighty. So uh, that's pretty much all the uh, news we had for the week. Again, KH4 kind of probably going to make this video. So yeah. <laughs> uh, but Slade, uh, you recently, uh, yesterday, which is why we didn't record yesterday, I saw the Sonic movie. Sonic that 2. is correct. So, so I your... went on to the Sonic movie with uh, 10 of my friends. Uh, I thought it was really good, actually. Usually, like, sequels usually suck. Not to mention video game movies. Yeah. Also <laughs> tend to suck, but... Yeah, we'll since probably... the original Sonic movie was good, there is some expectations for this one to be really good. But, uh... No, it, it was really excellent. Without spoiling anything, I think... All the Sonic characters, you know, were really cool. The story was really interesting when they were involved. Maybe not so much for the uh, real people characters. But... Yeah, yeah, I heard that was a complaint with the first Sonic movie was that it focused a little too much on the uh, the human characters. Yeah, it focused a little bit less on them in this movie, but still too much. It's almost like people just don't want to see them, period, which... I'm kind of with that vibe, but, uh, yeah, so, uh, it's really interesting thinking about the next one, too, because Jim Carrey said this was his last movie. Wait, last which... Sonic movie or last movie, movie movie? Movie Wow, really? Yeah, Jim Carrey apparently announced that he's retiring after this movie. Oh, wow. So. Damn. Pretty, uh, interesting stuff, and. I know there's been some articles saying that uh, they're not going to recast Dr. Robotnik if there's a Sonic 3. Mm -hmm. Which is really interesting because uh, I'm not sure how you have Sonic without Dr. Eggman. Shadow. You know I mean? well, just... well, Shadow, probably. I don't know, fucking know. Uh, speaking of that. Yeah, I think you'd probably be right. They'd probably move on to you know, Shadow. Or, or like Metal uh, Sonic cool. or something, I don't know. I'm just yeah. trying to name Sonic villains off the top of my head. Oh, but, but, uh, but yeah, so that's a, that was your down and dirty thoughts on Sonic 2. Apparently oh yeah, that's a really good, really good. I uh, definitely recommend you guys go see it. So yeah. anyways, this has been Slade. And this has been Byron. We will see you uh, next week with uh, more of the hot gaming news. That continues to surprise us in this year. Bye-bye.